Hey, I had one of my old buddies back in Flint, Michigan ask me uh, how to play Blackwater by the Doobie Brothers, which happens to be not only one of my uh, favorite old childhood tunes, I guess. I remember it well from the 70s, but uh, as well, I happened to have been working on it last week. I thought, why not give that one a try? So uh, forgive me for any errors. I, uh, I did this by ear, just trying to figure it out in my head. I don't even own the recording or anything, but... Uh, at any rate, I thought I'd slow this down, try to give you an idea of uh, what the fingering looks like and what the picking looks like. They are a little complicated. There's some little tricks in here. So I'll try to walk it through a little bit slow first here. Um, I'm not going to sit here and do anything fancy and try to list up all these fingerings, but I'll let you try to get a good look at it if I can get my camera to do that. Tricky parts are there. Here's a slide, and then I open, and then here's a double spread. Uh, no, I'm skipping a string in between these, and that's an A minor seven shape. If you can't see that, and then here's a pull off from that second finger, and then a hammer on to the first string slide up to the fourth fret and then open and that's a D7 it's only two fingers uh, but moving it all together and keeping it in cadence is a little tricky uh, especially when you consider the back and forth uh, with the bass on uh, this hand it, it, it's really kind of a fun piece to play once you get the jig of it second part, what he does right after that, he uh, jumps up here in the 5th fret, and by the way, I did forget to mention this is drop D tuning, so both of these guys are dropped down to D instead of normal tuning of E. Um, so what he does here, he again, he, he stays on this bass note uh, pretty much throughout and hits uh, the key notes with a uh, the high notes here, so you'll hear what I'm talking about. And this is almost just a bar chord. This third finger has the bottom four strings and then one finger here on the, uh, on the second string. And I didn't complicate things there, but normally what he does is actually he, uh, he thumbs this uh, bass note just like he did on the earlier bass note. So what that sounds like is this. strings on the second fret, bottom four strings, and then do the exact opposite almost really, hit the uh, top two strings, second fret with just one finger, if, or you can use two if you want to, and then he throws that little hammer in on every other time, so it goes... fifth string, third fret, fourth finger, fourth string, fourth fret. So 
so you're leaving that bird so you have something to write off to. So all together it sounds pretty much like this. that helps you out bro and anybody else who wants to play this tune it's a cool tune anyway see ya <laughs>